Hi guys, and welcome to DIY Hair School. My name is Jillian, I'm a professional hairstylist, and I'm here to teach you how to do your own hair at home. In today's video, we are going to talk all about hair oils and oiling your hair and scalp. So first of all, why do you wanna oil your hair and scalp? Well, the answer is pretty simple. You need moisture. Your hair and your scalp need moisture um, to be shiny and healthy and strong and the most important reason for most people is so that your scalp stops getting so greasy. I know it sounds really counterintuitive to put oil on your hair if your hair gets really greasy, but I promise you it makes sense. Our scalp produces oil to moisturize our scalp and our hair. When our scalp and our hair is getting dry, our body will send signals to our the follicles and the pores in our scalp and to produce sebum, and that sebum is full of nutrients and moisture for your hair and your scalp. The problem is we are so opposed to having greasy hair that we just wash it right off. We don't wanna have greasy hair. We fill it with dry shampoo, which absorbs all the oil and pulls all the moisture out of our hair so that our hair never looks greasy, but this creates a never ending cycle of you drying your hair out and your hair getting greasy. And then people will complain to me, oh, my hair gets so greasy, but my ends are so dry, but I can't stop washing my hair because my hair is so greasy, but my hair is still dry. And they just don't know what to do. You have to remember that oil is there for a good reason, but there is something you can do. You can oil your hair on your own and you can break that cycle. So not only will the oil make your hair shiny and soft and strong, some oils even promote hair growth, but it will also give your scalp and your hair the moisture it needs so that your scalp can stop producing so much sebum, making your hair greasy the day after you've washed it. First, let me tell you about the oils that I love and then I will tell you how I use them. First is the probably the most commonly known is coconut oil. When it comes to my hair, I typically gravitate to liquid coconut oil just because I tend to mix it with other oils and because in its natural state, it goes solid. If you're gonna mix it with other oils, I do recommend getting liquid coconut oil, but if you're gonna use it on its own, then just a jar of coconut oil that you just, that you just warm up in your hands to liquefy will be perfectly fine. Coconut oil is an excellent heat protectant it can protect your hair from breakage, it can help in preventing hair loss, and it can even promote new hair growth. Coconut oil is also full of fatty acids, which makes it a great conditioner for your hair strands. I would usually recommend using coconut oil as a treatment before you wash your hair. If you have super dry coarse hair, you could also use it as a topical treatment in the ends of your hair for some smoothing and shine, but I do think there's other oils that are better for that. So coconut oil is usually one that I recommend as a pre-wash treat. Next, we have argan oil, or sometimes known as Moroccan oil. Oil is a great source of vitamin E, ferulic acids, and fatty acids. So it is super hydrating, conditioning, strengthening, and moisturizing for your hair. Is also a great heat protectant and bonus, it has UV protection as well. So using argan oil in your hair will help to protect your color and your hair from UV damage and fading. Use argan oil as a treatment or you can apply it to your hair wet before you blow dry or you can use it dry as a finishing treatment. It is less greasy than coconut oil, so a lot of people prefer it as something that you put in your dry hair to add shine and um, manageability after you've styled. Castor oil. Castor oil is thought to be great for hair growth, not only for your hair, but for your eyebrows and your eyelashes too. Castor oil is full of vitamin E and antioxidants, and this helps it make your hair super, super strong. It helps make your hair strong. It helps to prevent breakage in your hair. Argan oil is also an antifungal, so it helps to repair um, any dandruff or any scalp conditions you have if they're due to fungus. So it can be a great dandruff treatment as well. Castor oil is super, super thick and can be very difficult to get out of your hair. So I always suggest using it mixed at a one-to-one -one ratio with another carrier oil, such as liquid coconut oil or, 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 or argan oil because on its own, it can just it can be really, really hard to get out of your hair. So especially if you have fine hair like mine, you do not want to use castor oil on its own or you're going to be washing your hair forever to get it out. Castor oil is best used as a treatment. It is a bit heavy to be used as a finishing product or to be blow dried into your hair. It's a bit greasy for that. So as a treatment, castor oil mixed with a carrier oil is great. Then we have my favorite, jojoba oil. Jojoba oil 
chemical structure is actually very, very similar to that of our own natural sebum that our scalp produces. This allows the jojoba oil to penetrate deep into our hair follicles and into our hair strands and really nourish the hair from the inside out and provide a ton of moisture simulating our natural oils very, very effectively. Jojoba oil is great for adding shine, softness. It's an excellent treatment for dandruff and dry scalp as well. Finally, we have something that you probably all have in your kitchen already, olive oil. Olive oil is a little different than the others in the sense that it will actually coat the hair shaft as opposed to penetrating it. As it coats the hair shaft, it will conceal damage, make it appear as if the damage is gone, making the hair strand look nice and smooth and shiny. It still provides some moisture, just not quite as penetrating as the others. And it is also an excellent heat protectant. Used as a treatment, or as a topical finishing product to add shine. Typically better though on coarser, thicker, drier hair types, not as much recommended for finer hair types like myself. So how do I use oil and what do I use them for? Well, I am looking for hydration because I bleach my hair every five weeks. I am looking for um, shine because when you have blonde hair, it can definitely be dull looking and I hate that. So I want my hair to be nice and smooth and shiny and I want my hair to be strong so that it doesn't break really easily, again, due to all of that chemical and heat processing that I put my hair through. And most importantly for me, because I have such fine hair, when my moisture balance of my scalp was off, I couldn't make it to the end of the day without my hair looking greasy unless I had dry shampoo in it. And it was just this horrible cycle of my hair looking greasy all the time, no matter how much I washed it, no matter how much I tried to train it, my head just produced so much oil and my hair was always greasy so that I was always washing it and using so much dry shampoo. And I don't love to overuse dry shampoo because it does make your hair look a bit duller. And I just, I love this super supple, shiny look of, of um, clean hair without dry shampoo in it. I, I do love dry shampoo to get me through those last few days, but not even being able to make it 24 hours without dry shampoo was a bit much for me. My exact recipe is one tablespoon of jojoba oil, one tablespoon of liquid coconut oil, and one tablespoon of castor oil. I also add in about 45 drops of rosemary essential oil. Um, it's just a little additive because I also am really trying to get my hair to grow a bit right now. And rosemary essential oil is great for hair growth. I have all four of those ingredients mixed into a dropper bottle. I use them pretty much every single time I wash my hair because I only wash my hair about twice a week now. And when I use this process, I actually can go almost the full three days without needing to use any any dry shampoo before my hair starts to look oily. So I love this process. The first thing I do is I wash my hair and I scrub my scalp with shampoo. You wanna do this before you oil your hair and your scalp because of two important reasons. Reason number one is because if there is dirt and bacteria on your scalp because your hair is dirty and you haven't washed it in several days, um, the oil can trap that dirt and bacteria into your hair follicles and the pores in your scalp and it can actually cause hair loss, so you don't want that. The second reason is that it can just clog up your hair follicles. I mean, there's dead skin and just other debris on your scalp and the oil can mix with that and it can clog your hair follicles and again, really stunt or stunt hair growth or cause hair loss and just not create the results that you're actually looking for. So give your scalp and your hair a good, good, good scrub. I thought of a third reason. The third reason you wanna wash your hair before is because oils put onto wet hair is going to actually lock in some of that moisture from the water that's on your hair. So doing an oil treatment on wet hair, in my opinion, makes a lot more sense than doing it on dry hair. So I take my mixture that I have in my dropper bottle and I take my dropper and I fill it up and I, I drop it several times. I don't know exactly how much I use. I just drop it all throughout my head. I make sure that I get my temples and my nape area. I massage it in all really, 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 really well. Give my head a good, nice massage because massaging those hair follicles can also stimulate healthy hair and hair growth. Then I take several droplets full, fill up the palm of my hand, and I just run it all through the rest of my hair. And then I wrap my hair up in a disposable shower cap, plastic bag, or some plastic wrap, whatever you have that you can um, use that's plastic. I like to use the disposable shower caps because I just rinse them and leave them to dry in my shower and I just use them a bunch of times so I'm not throwing out plastic every single time I do it. But any, any type of plastic, that's going to help the heat just stay on your scalp. After the plastic, I wrap my hair in a towel and then I leave it for about an hour. 
Once the hour's up, I simply get in the shower and wash my hair like normal. Two shampoos, one conditioner. My hair comes out so soft, so shiny, like I did the best conditioning treatment in the world. I can just rough dry my hair and it comes out so smooth and silky and shiny. It is amazing. Oil your hair. You will not regret it. So that's it for today, guys. Let me know in the comments below if you have any topics you'd like me to talk about or any styles you would like me to do a tutorial on. Please like and subscribe and I will keep making content here on YouTube and check me out on my TikTok DIY hair school for tons and tons of really quick tutorials and tips. See you next time, guys. Bye.